For one Bills fan, Sunday's game was more than just a big win for his favorite team. He was reunited with his wedding ring after he lost it at another Bills game seven years ago. And the Jets fan who found it made it his mission to get that ring back to Buffalo. I ain't seen this ring in seven years, bro. An emotional tailgate before Sunday's Bills Jets game. Uh -oh. Derek Norman, also known as Chef, has been cheering front row for the team for decades. Seven years ago, at the Bills' 2016 Thursday night home opener against the Jets, he cheered a little too hard. And I was banging on the wall and cheering and everything. And then I looked up at my hand and I noticed my ring was gone. And so I told my buddy, I said, Pooh, the ring is gone. I lost my ring. And I said, man, my wife's going to kill me. Norman and his wife, Rasan got married in 2001. He says the news that he lost the ring didn't sit well at first, especially since he already had plans to go to a road game. So we was going to Miami to a game. She said, you're not going to Miami without a ring. So she, I think she went over to Kmart or something and bought just a, a ring to go on my finger to say he's taken. <laughs> so and I end up with this ring from Kmart, I've been wearing it ever since. Until Sunday, when Norman reconnected with the Jets fan who found his lost ring seven years ago. Bud Bristol was sitting behind Norman when it was lost and even helped look for the ring. At the end of the game, he found it, but Norman had already left. Picked it up, took it back, uh, went to the lost and found, and the, at the lost and found, they wouldn't take the ring. So in my pocket, it went. Bristol brought the ring back home with him to sew his point. He tried to track Norman down on social media all those years ago, but never found him. I have this little, I don't know, bag of special mementos of mine that I keep, so I put it in there so I always knew where it was. A few weeks later, a Bills fan came into the bar where Bristol works. He ended up telling her the story of the lost ring, and she took his card, hoping she could help. Within a week, Bristol and Norman were on the phone. He said, I'm coming to the game to deliver your ring personally when the Bills play the Jets. I always had the intention of going to a game, uh, you know, and they're just kind of walking down and surprising them, saying, hey, man, remember this, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, just having had the opportunity to go to another game it hasn't worked out. And then, you know, once he called me, I said, I got to do this. You know, I got to get this to the guy. So the two met at the tailgate before the game where Bristol delivered the ring that Norman hadn't seen in seven years. When he brought it back, it just brought back so many emotions and feelings, you know, and I immediately called my wife. I said, he brought the ring back and she started crying on the phone. I let him talk to the, I let her talk to the guy. You know, she thanked him on the phone and I'm over there boohooing and all emotional. It's hey, men, good men cry. <laughs> Good, good for the soul. A lot of emotion there in that moment, which, which was really cool. It was great to be a part of it. Bristol didn't even stay for the game. He brought the ring and went back home. Norman says he's forever grateful to have it back on his hand. I want to say thank you. I really appreciate what you did for me and my wife. And uh, God bless him. And uh, blessings are going to come back to him. You know, because it's really, really good people out there. Still really some good people out there. So such a nice story. That ring is back on Norman's finger where he says it belongs. Now he's been married 24 years. Bud, who found the ring, married 23 years. Oh. They both told me they just know how much a wedding ring can mean. So they're glad to get it back to the rightful owner. At one time I was surfing and it was cold. The water was cold mm -hmm. and my, it was very cold. And my ring went right to, it fell off and right. I caught it like this <laughs> and I crashed. And But it was, uh, then I put it back on and said, oh, I think Good I'm going to take this off while I'm surfing. Well, it means a lot, yeah. especially when you've had, what, how, 20? 24 years. 24 years too, right. Exactly. Clink, clink. So. Yeah. <laughs> clink, clink. There you go. All right. Well, that's a great story.